Yo, what's going on guys, it's me, Jetty. Today, we're going to be looking at the top 10 better note-taking skills that you should implement in your note-taking. So, let's get into it. Number one is to determine important content. So when you're taking notes, usually when people take notes, they usually just jot down, jot down everything that you learn and then they make like a huge list of it. And this helps too, but the better way to do that is to determine the uh, important content. So when someone's giving you a lecture, for example, um, we have two examples usually. So the note taking could be either in school or at work. So just say you're at school and there's a teacher and at work and there's like a higher up. So when they're giving you like a lecture, for example, or they're giving you like a huge talk, you want to see which parts to emphasize more and you want that you want to be able to write down those parts and for example like if you're in a history class dates are super important and other like important names so and if you're at work um and if, let's just say that your higher up is giving you like a lecture on how to be better in the workplace maybe you can take notes on the practices that they're telling you to and you can organize them better in your notes and it's also a lot easier to take notes that way because um, you're just taking the important content, so you're not focusing too much on the stuff that's not important. So then it saves you time too when you're taking notes. Number two is to eliminate distractions. So when you're taking notes, uh, if there's a TV going on in the background, or if you are um, on your phone and you're doing something else, like going on Instagram or something, you want to eliminate all of that. So when you're taking notes, you want it to be focused only on that note taking thing that you're doing. So for example, if you're taking notes on a notebook, um, you want that notebook to be like, like fold it over only on that page and you're just writing notes on there and you don't want any other distractions so if you have like somebody with family members who are talking you want to go somewhere where you're private by yourself and you want to be in a place that's optimal for you to retain the most information uh, number three is just keep calm i mean a lot of people they take a lot of notes and then they get really nervous like oh my god what if i'm not missing what if i'm missing this what if i'm missing that and they're rushing through their notes that's not going to help you at all so you want to really be calm and then just think about it as yeah, this is definitely going to be important information. So when you're writing something down, you want to really focus on what you're writing down and just really retain that. That way you stay calm and then you get all the stuff. And you also are probably paying attention to the lecture too. So it actually helps you both ways. Number four has its pros and its cons. So going digital. A lot of a lot of you guys are probably going digital already. Taking notes on your laptop, taking notes on your phone, iPad. I personally like doing it on my phone. But um, all of that has, a, has its pros. Like for example, digitally, you could just backspace and it's gone. And you know, paper, you gotta like like sit there and erase it, white out, all that stuff. So then the, the definitely digital is better and you can also just switch between colors really quick and you can like make marks and you could save and it's a lot easier than carrying books. But also by paper, you retain more because you're actually like writing it with your hands. So you're actually like making the movements so then your hand's doing more work. So like your brain's able to actually comprehend that. And since your brain and your hands are connected and when you actually write it out, like the movements that your hands are making uh, send signals to your brain, which does help you um, stay more on task and help you retain your information more. Number five is to start sketching and making something visual. So drawing helps a lot. A picture is worth a thousand words. We've all heard that. But what does that really mean? So when someone's giving you like a lecture, making like a quick drawing about that in the side of your notes really helps a lot because you could go back to that drawing and you can make that connection because you're the one who drew it. So then you would really be able to know what that drawing is and you can connect with that drawing. So a picture is worth a thousand, thousand words. So make sure when you guys are doing your notes, make sure you guys are including drawings. Next up, we have just recording it. So when you're in, when you're taking a lecture, when you're taking like listening to your teacher or higher up, you want to just put your phone down and just record it. It's probably one of the best ways to do it because that's where you can retain that information and you don't have to really like do anything. So you can like focus on the lecture like to its full potential. And then when you're by yourself at home or something, when you want to retain that, you can just record it and then take notes later. So recording is like still one of the greatest like methods. I mean, we have our phones and everything, so why not use it to record? So that's why I think recording is super important. So if you are taking a lecture and, or if you are, you know, um, listening to a lecture and you don't want to like actually take notes because you, you're afraid that you might miss the concepts, recording is, is like a really good idea that you should follow. Asking for clarification. So when you're taking, a, when you're, when you're listening to a lecture, Asking that person who's giving you a lecture, um, this has a lot of different pros to it. So, for example, when you're asking for a clarif clarification, 
the person that you're asking the clarification to knows that you're listening. So they might even give more attention to you and they'll be, they'll be more open to talking to you because you're asking them for clarification. Number two is um, when you're asking for clarification, you're you're going over what they just said. So they're going to say that again. So then like you get double exposure to it. So it helps you even more. And lastly, you know, asking for clarification when you have an actual question, if you ask for clarification, you actually get your answers and you don't just go like off in the distance and you're actually like staying focused and you actually get your answer to what you actually have clarification for. And lastly, um, it's like a dual fact. So this is to summarize what you learn, con uh, continue your discussion and share. So when you when you finish everything, you want to really summarize it and like get a good idea of it for yourself. And then you want to continue that discussion with somebody else who's listening listen to that lecture with you or the person, if you're like, if it's like a one on one thing to that person themselves. So you want to like talk to them like a like a, like a normal conversational discussion where you're talking to them and like you give them ideas of what you learned. They give you ideas and you guys just combine and that way you guys both um, understand it and you get a lot more like um, exposure to it because now you're talking to them like in normal informal terms. That way it, you, it sticks in your head a little bit more like it's a conversation. And the bonus fact, which kind of just ties into the last one, is to teach somebody else. So if you're done and someone else needs tutoring, teaching them might actually have more benefits than you think. Because when you're teaching them that, you got to know it for sure. So then when you're teaching it to them, it just like uh, stronger your foundation that you have on that subject. So teaching somebody else has way bigger means than you think. So make sure that next time you guys take notes, you guys are following a method, eliminate, eliminating distractions, and sharing with somebody else. And also make sure you guys like the video, share the video and subscribe. Yeah, make sure you guys do that. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.